so today I'm going to be showing you my KDE setup. I just installed this uh, this um, Unix Mint on my computer. I still have Windows as a dual boot, but um, anyway, I want to show you what I did with the um, KDE because KDE is amazing and super customizable. So um, first off, this is my desktop. I have everything I currently have running down here. So for example, I can open up this torrent here, and I can open up this thing, and I can open up that. Alright, and I've also got this thingy here. Alright, I've got to press LS, I can bring up the search. Okay, now if you go up here, you have all of my applications I use often, such as, I don't know, I could open up the file browser. Right, I could open up virtual machines. It'll take a while, but it can, I can open it. virtual machines that opens so yeah I'm not going to go with my OBS so I want to keep the recording going actually <laughs> okay um I've got the hard drive disk space uses and the trash here now one thing I found pretty interesting or one thing I'm pretty proud of is um right here with the um off button if I put my mouse up here it actually will come up with a menu of other options all right and over here is the system tray um, I cannot figure out how to get OBS to install on Linux Mint. Um, any of you guys know, that would be great, but I have no clue how to get to install on Linux Mint. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much the whole setup. Alright, you can click on here and do that. Alright, and go up here to my thing. Also, I do have wine installed, but I can't seem to figure out how to make it work. This old coffee bill thing is Minecraft, by the way. It's just a .jar file. I couldn't figure out how to change the icon. I'm still kind of new to this because you'll forget that. Just ask me to set a keybind. Um, and I tried. I tried doing it from. I tried doing it from up here as well, but it still doesn't worry. I can change its icon, which kind of sucks. Well, anyway, that's about it for this video. So I'm not sure if I switch to Unix. I might get a better distro at some point, but um, I will see how well do I like this one, um, and then I'll just see if I need to if I will get a different distro. But anyway, that's about it. Thanks for watching.